Our top focus of this, our tensions are escalating in West Asia. According to reports, suspected Israeli warplanes have bombed Iran's embassy in Syria. Iran says the bombing killed seven of its military advisors, including three of its senior commanders. The bombing marks a major escalation in a war pitting Israel against its regional adversaries. According to Iranian state media, one of those killed was Mohammad Reza Zahidi, a senior commander in Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. Tehran believes he was the target of the attack. We told you before. Zionist entity knows very well that such crimes and any kind of crimes will not remain without response. Iran says their response to the attack will be decisive. Moreover, Tehran is not alone in issuing a warning to Israel. Lebanon's Iran-backed Hezbollah group has also warned Israel that they will pay the price for killing high-level Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps commander in Damascus. The militant group says that the crime will not pass without the enemy receiving punishment or even revenge. On the other hand, hours after the strikes in Damascus, Israel Defense Forces spokesperson accused Iran of orchestrating a drone attack on Israel's naval base in Eilat. Tonight, an unmanned aerial vehicle made and directed by Iran hit a naval base in Eilat. This is a very serious incident. Minor damage was caused to the facility and there were no casualties in the incident. We are investigating it in order to draw lessons and improve our defense capabilities in the area and its surroundings. The Islamic resistance in Iraq, an Iran-backed group of militias, said in a statement that it had attacked a vital objective in Israel using appropriate weapons. It did not offer further details. While Israel's closest ally, the United States, has said that they are looking into reports about the strikes in Syria, White House says President Joe Biden is aware of reports of Israeli airstrikes in Damascus. So, look, I'm aware of the reports. Our team is looking into it, so I'm not going to get ahead of, of anything just yet. But obviously, we're aware of the reports, and our team is looking into it. I'm just not going to. Axios reported, quoting a National Security Council spokesperson, that U.S. had no involvement in the alleged Israeli strike, and they did not know about it ahead of time. The Axios report also claims that the senior American official told that the U.S. has communicated this information directly to Iran. While in Iran, protesters burned Israeli and American flags as they gathered in Tehran to condemn the attack on the Iranian embassy. The embassy is considered part of a country's territory. There should definitely be a firm response to this action. For us to sit quietly is not the right thing to do at all, because it would dare to target more positions and may tell itself why not Tehran next time. And fitting revenge must be taken. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.